I've made many different varieties of meatballs, but I seem to always come back to this one in particular. This version with ricotta, parmesan and stale bread that's been soaked in some milk for about 10 minutes. Squeeze out the excess just like this and we'll add it to the bowl along with the mints. Now I prefer to use lean beef mints and because it's so lean, we're gonna get that extra meaty flavour. So we'll take it out of the pack and just using your hands, break it away and mix it in with our other ingredients. So get your hands in there and really give it a good mix, squishing it as you go. Now there's two ways to making meatballs. You can fry them in some oil and then pop them into a tomato sauce. But my favourite way is to just poach them in the tomato sauce. So I've pre-done my sauce. It's been cooking for about 15 minutes. Once I've rolled all my meatballs and I like to make them really small, then I'll gently lower them into the sauce, lower the heat and cook them with the lid on for about 20 minutes. Pasta's cooked, meatballs are perfect and I always like to mix them both together so we coat all the pasta in that rich sauce and then we want to show off those meatballs. We'll just pop them on top with some fresh basil and then, of course, it wouldn't be complete without a generous sprinkling of parmesan cheese. That is old school Italian using good quality beef. You can make the simplest meatballs. They'll taste like nonnas every single time. 